Hello everyone and welcome to Baldur's Gate. My name is Steve and I will be uh, accompanying you through this adventure. Uh, this game, uh, Baldur's Gate, it's pretty old. It's uh, about 15 years old. It was released in 1998. Um, this is one of my favorite games though still. Uh, being, being a pretty avid gamer throughout my life, I've uh, played a lot of games and this one probably has one of my favorite uh, storylines to it. Uh, that I'd like to, I'm gonna share it with you guys. So, uh, I have a couple of mods that I've downloaded um, for this game. Uh, first of all, I've downloaded the widescreen mod, which allows the uh, the game to kind of fill the widescreen, uh, which it doesn't normally. Uh, I have a mod called Easy Tutu, which updates the graphics to the newer Baldur's Gate 2 style graphics. Um, I've also got uh, what's called degreenifier, and it takes away the uh, the green water that uh, comes with the easy two two update. Uh, I've also got a quick start uh, mod which I will not be using. Um, that allows us to skip the tutorial and just go right to the kind of beginning of the adventure. Um, I'm also going to be playing with a uh, I guess you can call them challenges, um, more like just kind of rules for the game. Um, uh, first of all, I'm going to be playing with a single character. I won't be playing with um, a full party. Um, it'll just be just be our our, our single hero. Uh, I'm also not going to be playing with any cheats, uh, no item mods, and uh, I'm also not going to be loading unless uh, unless I unfortunately get killed, which I hope doesn't happen. But let's uh let's just start start the game here, single player new game. Alright, and now I've already pre-made a character for us um, uh, that I think will work pretty well. Um, uh, gender is going to be a male. Uh, class is Fighter Cleric. Uh, that allows us to um, have a lot of the fighter, fighter talents, um, which makes us a little bit more resilient in combat, and then Cleric cleric spells which will um, be cool against like undead um, it'll be easier against them as well as like uh, buffing buffing our hero uh, to make him just own everything in sight hopefully uh, I picked a dwarf as the race I've actually played through this game many many times and I've never played a dwarf uh, so I thought this would be a good time to start uh, dwarves they start out with um, uh, uh, one plus one max constitution, so you can get your max up to a 19, which is cool because that uh, is when I believe regeneration starts. So we'll be getting a little bit of a uh, health back over time, not much, nothing that would really influence combat, but uh, it's definitely a plus for like when we rest, we'll get our health back and stuff like that. Um, I picked our alignment as can. Oh, another thing that dwarves have is, is that they have killer saves. So uh, saving throws, which are used when uh, like a spell is cast at you, it allows you to take less damage or uh, or avoid damage altogether or avoid the spell effect altogether. So that'll be that'll be cool by the end of this uh, let's play. Um, alignment, I picked chaotic good just because I, I feel kind of feel like the game is kind of tailored a little more towards the good side. Um, I feel like good aligned characters get a little bit more out of the game than um, than the evil side or um, yeah or neutral I guess neutral is kind of more more along the lines of the good um, in terms of content in the game uh, these are our stats uh, pretty good stats um, I it actually took me quite some time to and uh, manipulating to, to get get stats like these so I think that um They'll be pretty good because I mean they hit with a bunch of the the things that a uh, fighter cleric will really need, like really high strength. 1800 is the highest that you can just naturally roll. Um, high dexterity, which gives us a uh, lower armor class to start. And if you don't know about armor class and uh, Thaco and all that, I'll explain that later. Uh, constitution, uh, of course, that gives us health and uh, regeneration. Uh, intelligence, how smart we are, or how many. Uh, mage spells we can cast that doesn't affect uh, our cleric spells. Wisdom, which is what clerics kind of rely on for their spells and uh, 
and uh, turn undead and stuff like that. And charisma, that's just how, how well people like us, which doesn't uh, play much of a factor in, in this game, at least. Uh, unless it's really low and then no one likes you. Uh, these are our pre-spells, um, which are pretty good, you know, they're, they're just the standard low-level spells. Nothing really damaging or overpowered or anything like that. Probably not too much that we'll even use except for maybe protection from evil, remove fear, uh, maybe command. Command is pretty good in Baldur's Gate 1. And these are our weapon proficiencies here. So I went with a uh, Warhammer just because, um, Dwarf. I'm gonna go hammer and mace, or uh, hammer and uh, axes, actually. And I'm gonna be dual wielding those, and I'll be able to do that because of my fighter, uh, fighter half. Uh, we won't be able to be too proficient, though. That's the only problem. But we'll still be able to smash faces, which is, will be awesome. This is what we look like. Start out, this is uh, no armor or anything like that, but uh, just going with the black on lighter black color scheme. Uh, you guys can leave maybe a comment or something like that below, and I'll uh, I'll change that to whatever you you guys kind of want later on. The other option we get here is uh, our sound, so this is basically our, our voice here. Um, a lot of these are kind of uh, not really my style. I'll give you a listen to the, a couple of the males Death here. to you all! Your life ends here. <laughs> Time for a bit of the rough and tumble. Onward! Yeah, definitely not my style. Um, so I think I'm gonna go with this guy, this one. The battle at victory! Sounds a little bit I more... I will strive to lead responsibly. Sounds a little bit more dwarfish, I think. And last but not least is his name, and we're gonna go with Steve. Steve the Dwarf. Probably the most Nestled epic hero name I've heard. That so this is the prologue. The sword coast, I'm gonna shut up and let you guys have a listen. houses the finest and most comprehensive collection of writings on the face of Farron. It is an imposing fortress, kept in strict isolation from the intrigues that occasionally plague the rest of the Forgotten Realms. It is secluded, highly regimented, and it is home. Within these hallowed halls of knowledge, your story begins. You have spent most of your twenty years of life within this keep's austere walls, under the tutelage of the sage Gorion. Acting as your father, he has raised you on a thousand tales of heroes and monsters, lovers and infidels, battles and tragedies. However, one story was always left untold, that of your true heritage. You have been told that you are an orphan, but your past is largely unknown. Lately, Gorion has been growing distant from you, as if some grave matter weighs heavily on his heart. You have asked about his concerns as gently as possible, but your queries have been in vain. Your sole comfort is the knowledge that he is a wise man, and you know he will tell you when the time is right. Nonetheless, his silence is troubling, and you cannot help but feel that something is terribly wrong. Today, Gorion has appeared more agitated than ever, and now he has uncharacteristically interrupted your chores in the middle of the day. Imparting hurried instructions for you to equip yourself for travel, he has handed you what gold he can spare, but given no clue as to why. Nevertheless, you now stand before the Candlekeep Inn, ready to purchase what you need for an unplanned and unexpected journey. All right, there we go. That's the prologue and uh, the start of our adventure. You know, we still uh, have a lot of questions. Don't know why we're getting ready. Don't know why we're going on uh, this unplanned and unexpected journey. But uh, I hope to find out pretty soon. Now, right away, we're going to get hit up I by this guy. I uh, with both my watcher. arms tied behind my much, back. They're pretty much the guards of Candlekeep. And he says, Oh there, Steve. Your foster father, Gorion, tells me that you need to leave the keep at once. Your very life is in danger, and there's no time to lose. Yeah, so, okay. But before then, it's probably a good idea if you go around the keep in a leisurely fashion, finding lost property and running errands, all for an economically implausible cash reward and an astonishing amount of experience. Uh, yeah, sounds good. I'm on it. Uh, good luck, Steve, and watch out for those rats. 
see you in chapter 6. So that doesn't really make too much sense for those who uh, have never played this before, but that guy is actually the, uh, he comes with the um, the mod I downloaded, the quick start mod, so if you chose the other option you can just skip right out of the keep and uh, and skip all this tutorial stuff. I'm going to go through it for your guys' sake. Um, might be a little boring, but and eh, this game's a little boring. It shall be. Except for the storyline, which we'll be getting into momentarily. So there we go. I'm gonna uh, maybe do show you guys some of these spells that we got here. We got uh, uh, armor of faith, uh, bless, command, uh, cure light wounds, detect evil, uh, doom. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Uh, magic stone. Uh, protection from evil. Remove fear. This is sanctuary, which is actually a really powerful spell, and I'll show you why. Um, especially if we're running a single hero, uh, and you'll see in a little bit. And this last one is Shalila. Uh, if you'd like to read any of those, I mean, you can just pause the video and uh, have a read there. So I'm gonna pretty much right now. I'm just gonna start with maybe two healing spells and uh, command which will uh, pretty much incapacitate one of our targets and let's just head right to the uh, the inn and spend our uh, 120 gold we got let's see what we can get for that there get a little kitted out and see what's going on Consider it done. So this Mario guy right here, cows Winthrop, as clean as an elven says, uh, well, hello there, young one. Come to visit your old pal Winthrop, have you? Well, don't forget the 5,000 gold piece book entrance fee as per Candlekeep custom, don't you know? And we can kind of, uh, you know, depending on our alignment, I guess we can uh, answer him how we'd like. I'm going to go with the, uh, you know, act like he's telling a joke. You always were a big kidder, Winthrop. That gets funnier nearly every time I hear it. Well, perhaps not quite so often. Uh, so, ha, huh, just having a bit of fun with ye, my friend. And then monks may be walking about with poles in their nethers, but... You know, you are always welcome here in my sight. Garin did well by you. Uh, Garin did well by you, he did. So, is there anything I can do for you? Some drinks, room to sleep, or anything to buy? Yeah, let's see what he's got. So he's pretty much got, uh, this is the um, sleeping sort of thing. If we sleep, we can recover spells and, um, or rememorize spells and um, gain health back, which is really good. Definitely a very beneficial thing and useful thing in this game. Um, this is all his, basically, gear that he has for sale. And for now, I think we should buy some armor or something. Get out of these rags. And, uh, guess we'll just go with how much do we have 120 gold yeah let's just go with the split mail here give us a little protection and uh what's also what's also oh we don't have any money no money let's equip this here this is our character tab uh we we'll just put that right on there oh yeah oh yeah look how badass we look got two staves also uh don't know if we want to can't dual wield those, so it doesn't really matter. Oh, yeah, we look awesome now with this. Okay, so let's uh, just go back. Let's head upstairs and have a look. I will do my best. Right, uh, let's uh, just kind of steal from all these people, I guess. We might be good, but we're not that good. Um, so this here, let's see. Let's switch that. Yeah, there we go, our weapons in our hand. Oh, we've successfully forced open the lock. So if you ever find something locked, you can either try and basically force it open, which uh, depends on your strength, if you can or not, or you can uh, pick locks if you have a thief thief with you, or, or if you're a uh, thief class. Alright, so we're just knocking, knocking the stuffing out of these uh, locks, I guess. Let's see this one here. So you do have to watch out, because if anyone actually sees you doing any of this, then they'll uh, call the guards. Like this guy, if I tried to loot his stuff, then he'd um, call the guard. 
Call the guards. Oh, excuse me. Don't touch me. I might catch something. <laughs> so this no nobleman says, uh, yes, might I help you? Uh, sorry to have disturbed you. Wrong room, I fear. Uh, this guy doesn't really have too much. We can try and rob him. Uh, yeah, pretty much. My apologies. So let's head out. Let's head back downstairs. See if we can get any quests and start getting some experience so we can level up. Now this yes. guy, this game is a little bit slow paced. As you can see, we have zero out of two thousand experience, and we've been playing for, you know, not that long, but um, the experience does start coming uh, a little bit faster later on, but it starts very, very slow. Uh, so it's something to be uh, warned about. It's a hard to find sense. decent folk Fire nowadays. And it, I will like to say I will probably pronounce some of these names quite wrong. So he says, ah oh, yes, I'm back within the hollowed halls of Candlekeep. Within this, uh, with this iron cut crisis upon us, the trip from Bear Ghost was more hazardous than I cared to relate. You're Garain's ward, aren't you? My, you have come into your own. If you wouldn't, or if you would permit an old man jealous of youth to say so. Hmm. I left an identify scroll with Tetoro in the inner grounds. He should be done examining it by now. So if you could fetch it for me, I'd be grateful. So we got a little quest there. These guys right here, these are pretty much just the monks or tutors. You know. And uh, so let's head back outside. Alright, and I think that's going to be the end of... Uh, the recording for today. Uh, join me tomorrow, or maybe even later today if I put out another one today. Um, and we'll we'll finish up some of these quests around Candlekeep and get a little experience, uh, see a little bit how the combat works, and maybe kit ourselves out a little bit more with some more weapons and stuff like that. So until then, thank you very much for watching. I'll catch you all later. Bye bye.